Hello and welcome to the first RTS Sunday of 2017. Um, I hope your weekend was good and we got something technically new. Um, it's not completely new, it's just I hadn't installed it even though I've owned it since... the what was it, the Black Friday sale? I just hadn't got around to installing it. Or it might have been before the Black Friday sale. I honestly cannot remember. Anyway, uh, I figured I'm just going to do um, the first 15 minutes of uh, single player of this. I have the full version, so this has all the DLC. I think what was my edition? The Gold Edition, I think is what they called it. Uh, I'll just say New Game. Hailing from the cloudy planet Altair. The proud Alkari are an old race of avian hominids. Although well known for their peaceful disposition, they are fierce in combat and will rarely back out of a fight if they believe they have just cause. The Skylord rules over the flock uncontested. He is the de facto commander of all Alkari fleets, crewed by highly skilled and disciplined soldiers. Their pilots are among the finest in the galaxy. Alkari religion permeates every aspect of their culture, and their zeal can oftentimes be confused with fanaticism. They believe the god of sky created the Alkari to gaze over every horizon, and have been driven into space to fulfill that calling. Hmm. Okay, so I wonder if I should let it do that for all of these. That might take up the whole 15 minutes. Actually, no, that didn't take that long. Okay, yeah, we'll let it read the dialogue for each one of them. The harsh Ursa system is home to the Bolrathi, a ferocious warrior race committed to the preservation of nature. Fearless and brutal in combat, they rely on their strength to overcome opponents while their heavily armored fleets withstand wave after wave of enemy attacks. Fiercely territorial, they are usually reluctant to strike the first blow, but they will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone who wanders into their domain. Their rich spiritual life revolves around the Hag, an elder who speaks for nature itself. It was the will of the Hag that pushed the Bulrathi into space as they sought to place the entire galaxy under their protection by any means necessary. Well, that's interesting. Uh, next. Elusive and paranoid, the Darlock of Nazim both crave and despise identity. Their shape-shifting nature puts them at odds with themselves as often as with other races, since they neither trust nor can be trusted. They constantly scheme in the shadows, while their agents hide in plain sight, gathering information to serve the purposes of the Cabal. Scavengers by nature, they pull together elements from different sources into mismatched but effective patterns. The Darlock eschew open conflict and would rather sap their enemy's strength or place them on a collision course with another race before moving in for the final blow. So, uh, considering at the current time that I'm recording this, the only species that I know is going to be watching this is human, I'm going to do this one last. Uh, I mean, I doubt any of these races actually exist, it's just the only watchers I know of that are going to be watching it are human. So, we can hold that one off for a second. Deep in the caves of Koldon, the insect like Klakon evolved to form the Hive a unified consciousness stretching from drone to queen. As such, the industrious Klekon have no individual needs, no desires, and no ambitions other than the benefit of the hive itself. This effectively makes them tireless workers and fearless warriors, each and every one willing to give their lives for the hive. Having nearly exhausted their home planet, the Hive has begun its galactic expansion in search of more resources and room to grow. So, li literally, it, locusts. 
even though they look like spiders or ants or something. Well, ants. What is this? One, two, three. They have three. Might have more if these were originally appendages. <laughs> this is the interesting expansion reason. Coexisting in a sprawling, jumbled network filled with incessant chattering voices and signals, the Mechlar Combine is an artificial ecosystem of AIs from the planet Mechlon. While most Mechlar have distinct cybernetic bodies to allow them to interact with their environment, many reside as programs and subroutines of the main Combine cycle. Ruled by the Overseer routine, they are industrious capable of producing infrastructure and large fleets in a very short time. But the constant buzz of opinions and endlessly iterating cycles of application requests and updates make them erratic and unpredictable. The blazing savannas of Fieras gave rise to the ruthless warriors known as the Mershon. But their hot temper almost proved to be their undoing. After years on the brink of civil war, the Mershon Empress now rules over her pride without question. Mershons are willful and independent, and their long history as hunters has shaped their culture fittingly. They see themselves as the peak of predators, and any other life form who crosses their path is regarded as fair game. They often strike out against even their closest allies just for the sport of battle. They are easily offended and will pursue relentlessly anyone they feel has slighted them, heedless of the consequences. So, cat people that act like cats. Got it. Under the supervision of the controller at Mentar, a sprawling network of Cylon communities comprise the Quanta. Devoted to the unraveling of the mysteries of the universe, each quantum investigates independently in order to contribute to the knowledge of the whole. The Cylon are a peaceful race and only keep fleets of highly advanced warships as defensive measures. Brilliant researchers, they are often ahead in the technological race yet seldom seem to take advantage of their superiority. Instead, they prefer to trade for new discoveries while shielding themselves from the rest of the galaxy in order to continue investigating in peace. So, sounds like a ultimate turtle race. Which is funny, because I think I'm about to click on literal space turtles. Primal in their ways, the cold-blooded Sakura from the planet Sla seem uncouth and unenlightened to many of the other races. However, their hulking forms and rustic rituals belie an enduring memory that has helped them reach the stars. They are lorded over by the Hierarch, a long-lived progenitor, and in a very literal sense, the father to much of the brood. His main concern is for his offspring, whether acquiring colonies for them to reproduce or securing the resources necessary for their survival. It follows that the Hierarch adopts a familiar and fatherly tone towards those he regards as allies. To the Sakura, everyone is either part of the family or a hated enemy. I, I noticed that almost all of them are bipedal, with like exception here and here. <laughs> Alone in their unique composition, the Silicoid are an ancient race of silicon based life forms from the planet Chrysalon. Their impressively long lifespans and abysmally low birth rates have resulted in a civilization of relatively few individuals with lots of experience. The oldest among them is known as the Keystone, ruler of the Silicoid and speaker for the Crag. As outcasts among other alien races, they see other races as fleeting, temporary blurs that leave nothing behind but trouble for the Crag. 
Oh, apparently I don't have the collector's version because I can't even click on Terran. I, I thought I had the full version. Huh. I mean, technically that's just another human, but... Born of the myriad islands of Draconis, the Ilarians are a feudal civilization with a rigid caste system and immutable gender roles. At the top of their social order sits the Grand Marshal of the Fiefdoms, a warrior of great renown who binds all the Ilarians to her will through her military prowess. Only females may enter military life at any rank. Males are relegated to the college forums where they form the philosopher caste, always studying and pushing their race's strange mental powers to new limits. So kind of a uh, reversal of reality. <laughs> the Nolan League is a tightly knit confederacy of traders based in the Nol system. The title of Commodore of the League is the highest rank a Nolum can attain. Any trader bold or lucky enough may hold this highly sought after position, representing the Nolums in all official affairs. The League is well known for its seemingly endless fortune, both in goods and luck. Nolums are cunning merchants and ruthless moneylenders who would rather pay off an enemy than fight them. However, their vast material wealth usually allows them to fund large fleets on short notice should they feel the need to take the field. In the depths of the otherworldly oceans of Trilar, the Trilarian Shoal is governed by the Stinger, half dictator and half messianic figure. His tentacled subjects worship old gods fashioned around folk tales and cryptic mythology whose darker undertones clash with their generally friendly disposition towards other races. They are willing to coexist with other races and rarely seek open conflict, but they are capable of quickly turning to strike when they believe it is in the will of their deities to do so. So it's a Cthulhu race is what I got out of that. Um, now to us. <laughs> After ages of internal conflict and faced with dwindling natural resources on their home planet of Earth, humanity finally came together to form a consolidated government, replacing the many nations once dotting its political landscape. This new government brought unification, eroding long-held distinctions based on race, color, creed, and gender. Humanity thrived and at long last reached for the stars. Now, out of the soul system, the human republic arises. The, the, the human republic, or the, to quote something from another sci-fi universe, you basically just describe the federation. <laughs> or, or the earth United Earth Forces? Or... I don't remember what it was called before the Federation. Whatever they called it in Enterprise. <laughs> um... Ah... <laughs> uh... Or you can make a custom race. Does this have descriptors? No. <laughs> okay. Uh... I wonder, does that make a randomly generated appearance, too? Hmm, that'd be weird. Uh, I know I'm almost at 15 minutes of video length here, and all we've done is listen to all the races. Um, so I'm just gonna pick one... <laughs> I might as well just hit random races as I was doing it that way. Uh, eh, nuts to it. We'll just go with human. I'll probably regret that later. Um, galaxy type spiral because let's make it the normal one uh, well our normal one wow that's going to get weird normal 
Starting age post warp. Pre warp, post warp, advanced. Wait, you can start before you can jump? That's. That sounds like you'd be giving yourself a disadvantage. But th this sounds like it's the normal way to play. This sounds like it's making it harder. Or maybe you get more stuff that way? I don't know. Difficulty normal. Uh, five opponents. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go with it. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I will fully admit that. I have literally no idea what I'm doing. But I hope it's entertaining for you people. <laughs> Which, that sounds terrible. Either because, well, I don't know. A lot of things. <laughs> The Human Republic. Fulfilling a dream once thought impossible, all of mankind has come together as a single world of traders and diplomats, explorers and scientists, pressing toward the final frontier. Venturing forth from their blue planet Earth, they now seek to explore space, discover ancient civilizations, and coexist peacefully with their neighbors from a position of strength and solidarity. Welcome, President. I am Victoria, your personal advisor. It is my job to help you manage our people's needs and keep you updated on what's happening on the furthest reaches of our dominion. Clicking the feet orders button to select your fleet. Excuse me, President. Switch is paramount to our success to move a fleet. Left click it and select it, and then right click a destination a planet to warp to. Mm-hmm. Colony ship, two scouts and a frigate. Scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Mm. What do these do? Colony revenue service, civil transport, colony base. What does that even? Civil transports allow the relocation of one pop unit between colonies. Spy center, automated factory. Hydroponic farm, biospheres, destroyers, anti-missile rockets. I like engineering. <laughs> I have no idea what I just clicked on, by the way. I have never played this game before, ever. I've watched other people play a couple times. <laughs> and by that I mean other videos of other people playing. Choose a production. Um, space factory? Sure, let's go with space factory. Excuse me. Ask the game click next. So, kind in, in my brain, Civ. Grab and drag. Okay, so uh, sins, sort of. I can't get smaller. I can scroll out. That's a lot of worlds. Uh, what did I just find? Jupiter. I I seriously had to explore Jupiter. That seems silly. Clicked, go. Why, what, what? Oh, <laughs> wrong button. Had to right click. I didn't right click. What 
is that? The Sky Lord of the Alkari greets you, Wanderer. I trust you have the wisdom to coexist with us. Is that just they have a thing there? <laughs> I think they just have a ship flying around, because if there's a race right there, that's going to suck. Yeah, they, they just have a ship there. I beseech you, consider the consequences of your actions. Only the sky god has his claim over the horizon. I beg you, take your back your ships. What if I just wanted to explore it? Do not colonize near them. Oh, okay, I accept that. You have my thanks. One of our colony ships has reached a hostile planet. We do not recommend settling. <laughs> so, so it, it it is their place, right? Out. Wow. That's that's kind of lame. <laughs> Uh, give me this. Go here. Oh, that was a full turn. feel like I'm I'm doing something terribly wrong and you can all tell me how badly I'm doing it I, I will accept that Sector is ready to build a structure on a nodes in the factory to set to it and select build okay thanks how do what a node what I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Someone explain to me. Uh, why do I feel I goofed? I don't... whatever. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Anti-missile rockets, or we can have a destroyer. Let's go with the destroyer. I got problems. I like ships. Um, this make things go faster. Next step forward, and this makes things go faster. <laughs> I don't even know what that tech tree choices I'm doing do. I'm just grabbing things. It sounds good, so I grab it. But can can I make more than one? Okay, it's just one. I can't queue multiple, or maybe I can queue multiple, and I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> Excuse me, President. Going into combat, it is important to consider the enemy's strength and analyze possible outcomes. Why did she quit talking this whole thing? <laughs> Ships are equipped with a special device capable of estimating an enemy's fleet strength. To compare the strength between different fleets. First click your fleet and then mouse over the enemy fleet. Okay. Oh, they're coming this way. So I could win. I just have to protect that. So I'm just going to drop them here. Build. Uh, 
yes, harvest gas. Do that. Do, do, do that thing. <laughs> Since that appears to not be connected to anything else, I think I can just colonize that? I hope? <laughs> Maybe? Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. In its aimless roaming through the galaxy, the Mechlar Combine has stumbled upon a heap of ruins of mysterious origin. Reports of bone-related skull-mashing incidents remain unconfirmed. Okay. Well, I knew it did the news conference, but okay. Um, guard slash block. I'm... I, I want to see this. Let's see how badly I do this. <laughs> this is my colony ship, right? Okay, you're just gonna... Where are they? They're all the way over there? You're gonna just go over here. <laughs> and then y you three... Um line formation to here go Scouts don't have weapons, do they? <gasps> How lame is that? <laughs> Scouts don't have weapons. Oh. I wonder if I can set those to automated movement. Do, do I get anything for that? No? Really? Unguard, disengage, you to here. Oh. Um. Well, you can't build anything. Come back here and do something. <laughs> Is that action currently unavailable? Do, can I build things on these? Yes. Um, outpost. Deploys a nest of surveillance systems in the warp point, capable of monitoring any activity from afar. This military base defends the warp point from incoming attacks. Eh, let's go with that. Why do I have the feeling they can just jump around? No, it's directly connected. Pardon me, President. One of our colony ships has reached a viable planet. Colonizing planets is important. Basically is what this comes down to. View planet. Okay. That was kind of silly. Colonize that planet. Ah, 
have a single dude. Um. Put a government facility there. I have given you ample opportunity to regain your honor. It clearly means nothing to you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> You've basically taken every system around me. I am taking one of them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I want another fleet. So we're going to do some of this. Wait. Oh, there's a number thingy. Okay, okay. Let me see that. There's, there's a quantity counter. I didn't even notice it. Yes, build me five of those. Start building. <laughs> Where? What ocean is that supposed to be? This is supposed to be Earth, so where am I looking at? Can I speed the rotation? No. Um. I guess with environmental changes, it's supposed to look different. Is the idea? Or they just kind of goofed? Wait. No, that's Japan. I think that's Japan. Yeah, that's Japan. Or what's left of it. Okay. Does that make that the what's left of the Pacific Ocean? I don't. What? <laughs> or did they use up the resources so badly that the water level got used up, which put it down lower? I don't. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I only identified Japan. The rest of this is just confusing. Um, we'll, we'll just say done. <laughs> Wait, did... Is that all five? No, it's just one of them. Um, sleep. What's left of you? Okay, not much. Is that a pirate group? This is GNN. Horror strikes the galaxy once again as a colossal space amoeba raises its ugly head or tentacles or whatever the twisted designs of evolution have bestowed upon it. Be on the lookout for this cosmic threat. You have been informed. Oh, goody. Giant s space squid. <laughs> <gasps> Hooray. And those things off like that. Yes, they can auto explore. That's wonderful. Why they both go the same way? There's a planet down here. All right, an escape from this galaxy. Every population unit. And our county contributes a small amount of credits to our treasure. Okay. That's wonderful. I'm gonna just fight that because why not <laughs> for my own entertainment I don't care how well it goes it, no, it's not like it's gonna win it's for my amusement where is it it's way the hell over there can you go faster <laughs> I 
can't make it go faster. Is that because I told it to not let me control it completely? I think it is. This is detected an electromagnetic disturbance nearby. You should explore the area. Okay, thank you. Well, one, one. Where's the other one? There was two there. Where'd the other one go? What? Whatever. <laughs> oh, it's coming back this way. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Unlocks the fast armored MERV and ECCM <laughs> modifications to nuclear missiles. Okay, whatever. Uh, the fusion drive is the next step forward. Combat speed by 20%. Yes. Make them faster. Wait, what? What? Up upgrade all. Can I change how the thing looks, or is it permanently designed like this? <laughs> uh. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, where's that tech tree? <laughs> okay, so these are back here. Um, that's all the way up here. Gets me this, which goes to this. Advanced engineering, what does that give you? The cruiser? Hmm, that looks good. We're gonna go with this. That way we can get ourselves a cruiser. Factory guy needs something. Go, go there. Build a thing. Build me another outpost. <laughs> Just because we want peaceful things with our neighbors doesn't mean we're not foolish enough not to defend our home world. Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. The galaxy's worst. Holiday destination list continues to grow as the Mettler Combine has found yet another excavation of foreboding and cryptic debris. I sure hope they like the smell of mold. A quarantine has been hastily established around a human colony due to the rapid spread of a deadly plague. The disease has the potential to kill millions. All scientists at the colony are now focused on finding a cure. Really? It said Soul 2. Soul Pro. I am so confused. Our colony is star starving. Uh, few colony? <laughs> How, how do I fix the starving problem? <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's swap to food. That's terrible, idea. You come here. You there. You there. Oh look, I fixed the problem. <laughs> that wasn't
wasn't so hard now, was it? New leader. A former keeper of the Akiri faith, a fear has driven from his home after the death of his family at the hands of the crooked gangsters. So we have from a deckhand to a captain of a small mercenary ship and now seeks vengeance against the shadowy organizations that pushed him. What, what, it, what I don't under, what am I doing with this guy? <laughs> I, uh, um, sure? <laughs> Why not? I will hire Birdman. <laughs> He can command that frigate. That, that's that's fine. <laughs> the precious hired leader can be assigned to colonies or ships, but in their role or be systems only to be checked leader stay for a while before leaving. So I stuck him in that. I guess he's that guy. If I may have a moment. A high morale is key to maintaining a happy popular. Several actions can cause shifts in morale. Okay. There's what, like things I'm not doing or something? I don't. Whatever. <laughs> I guess it's Comus Prime, but there's no other planet in there. The, the, these systems are lacking worlds. <laughs> A pirate base. Eh. Pirate Raider. Volcanic Ball. <laughs> well, we'll just leave that to be. That thing just beat up one of their ships. <laughs> Um, yeah, because the scouts don't even have weapons. Um, I can't do anything but auto-resolve. Wow, that's special. Yeah, it was a scout ship. But it took out the other guy? It'll take it a while, but go there. How many are there? Just the one? Wow, I've done 36 turns already. That's... I'm... okay. Well, that's wonderful. Uh... <laughs> Options. We'll save it. We'll, um, nah, that's a lame name. Um, uh, we'll call it YouTube One, cause <laughs> whoops. Uh, and we'll call it there, cause that's way longer than I said the video was gonna be at the start. Um. Anyway, I do hope you slightly found my horrible playing enjoyable, or that it at least made you feel better about your playing of the game. Uh, either way, that's the goal, to bring enjoyment to people. Uh, on another note, I do like the game. Uh, it feels very Civ in space, which might hurt or insult some people. If it does, feel free to put comments. I won't care. Uh, I fully admit that. 
Uh, it's the internet, and it, it is open to your full opinion, as long as you don't go and insult specific races, people, genders, or anything that causes um, massive tirades to happen. Other than that, uh, have a few, post whatever you want. Um, that said, do like, favorite, subscribe, socialize, leave comments, and we will catch you next time for another RTS Sunday, or maybe we'll catch you before that on Friday Night War Games. Thank you once again for watching.